Hello students, I'm going to discuss the quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series Medical 2020 OIM and carry forward. Your test is test number 8 code A and B. Your test was held on 2nd of February 2020. I'll be dealing with the botany section. Let's quickly start with the question number 91. Question number 91. Study the following figure of adjacent cells and choose the correct option. Here, two cells are shown below, cell A and cell B, where the value of Psi P and Psi S are given. Now, you have to choose the correct option regarding the question. So, in this question, option A, cell A has more water potential than cell B. For this particular question, you have to find out the value of Psi W. For cell A, Psi W will be psi s plus psi p and that is minus 15 plus 10 is equal to minus 5. For cell b what is the value of psi w again it is psi s plus psi p and it is minus 8 plus 6 that comes to minus 2. Now which has more water potential of course cell b cell B has more water potential as compared to the cell A. Now see the options. Cell A has more water potential than cell B. No, as we just discussed, cell B has more water potential as compared to the cell A. Water will move from cell A to B. No. Why? Because water moves from high to low water potential and here water potential of cell B is higher than water will move from cell B to A. Third option, cell A has more deficit of water than cell B. Yes, because A has low water potential, hence it is more deficit in water as compared to the cell B. It is correct. Osmotic pressure of cell B will be minus 8. No, osmotic potential will be minus 8. Osmotic pressure will be plus 8 as osmotic pressure is opposite to the osmotic potential in terms of the sign. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 92. Select the option which is not correct for active absorption of water. Active absorption of water occurs when there is root pressure. So it is symplastic. Yes, active absorption of water is symplastic. It takes place in slowly transpiring plants because if transpiration is low, there is root pressure. So this is also correct. Third option, force is developed in the shoot. No, it is developed by the root called the root pressure. Fourth one, rate of absorption is low. Yes, rate of absorption is low in case of active absorption of water. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number 93. When sugars are loaded in the sieve tubes, then first option, water moves out of the sieve tubes. No. When there is loading of the phloem, means the sugars are loaded in the sieve tubes, then water moves in the sieve tubes from the adjacent xylem vessels. So this is incorrect. Hypotonic condition is developed in the sieve tubes. No, when solutes are added or the sugars are added in the sieve tubes, then it will be hypertonic condition, not the hypotonic. So this is also incorrect. Third one, osmotic pressure inside the sieve tube increases. Yes, osmotic pressure is directly proportional to the solute potential or the solute concentration. When there is rise in the solute concentration, osmotic pressure increases. So this is correct. Fourth one, no energy is required as phloem loading is a passive process. No, both phloem loading as well as unloading are active processes. So this is incorrect. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number 94. Malvigi conducted an experiment named as girdling experiment. This experiment shows passive absorption of water and minerals. No. Then what does this experiment show? 
Malfigi conducted an experiment called the girdling experiment by which he showed that the translocation of food occurs by phloem and it is unidirectional flow because at that time he just found that there is unidirectional flow of the phloem second option it shows mineral flow towards one direction only no minerals are flow inside the xylem and it was not discovered by malfigi third one demonstrates phloem transport from sink to source no phloem generate transports from source to sink and fourth one identify the tissues through which food is translocated yes it is correct that he identified that food is translocated with the help of phloem so he identified the tissues by which food is translocated so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 Question number ninety-five. Xylem is not associated with translocation of xylem. It's a complex permanent tissue, and it is associated with the translocation of mineral salts, hormones, organic nitrogen, but not the photosynthesis because photosynthesis are transported with the help of phloem, the another complex permanent tissue. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. 